Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Digital in is the second important function we need for the work with Arduino. And as you remember, a digital signal can be high or low. In our case, if we have, for example, a button, then we want to sense if it's open or if it's closed, if somebody is pushing the button or not. But unfortunately, if we connect the button to the Arduino board, the outcoming signal when the button is open would look like this. So there is a lot of interferences um, on this channel. So we can't really sense because Arduino is looking if the voltage is higher than, than uh, reference voltage. And if it is, then it, Arduino says it's switched on. But you can see here a lot of times it would say it's switched on even if it's open. And this comes from all interferences from one I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe you know if you place your place mobile phone, mobile phone on your stereo, stereo at home, then you, then you sometimes, sometimes hear just, just different the sounds, sounds and there is and a lot of noise, noise in there. And, there. and even on the Arduino board, there is a lot of noise, noise um, uh, which we have to, we have to uh, somehow, somehow calm down because calm this signal, signal, we can say that this signal is an unknown signal. Therefore, we need to calm this everything down with a drop-down resistor. So in this, um, in this line or in this wire where we have this noise, we simply place a resistor which is connected to the ground and each interference will be directly um, guided to the ground over this resistor. It should always be a resistor with a higher resistance. Here it is 100 kilo ohms and this is a nice drop down resistor. And now our signal when the button is open looks low, doesn't it? If the button is pushed, then the signal, then the 5 volt plus is connected to the high of the Arduino or, or to the digital in of the Arduino and uh, just a little part of that will be go over this resistor because it's quite high. And the Arduino sees, okay, here are 5 volts, this is a high signal. Then Arduino knows it's high. Okay, that's a theoretic, theoretical part. In the programming, it looks like this. We have again here a button which is declared as button pin 3 or a variable with which is called button pin and it is 3. And now we have again in the setup the pin mode command, but this time it is pin mode and the function is not output, but it is input. Quite easy. It declares the digital pin 3 as an input. And now in our program we can ask, is this button high or is this button low? And <clears throat> Therefore, we need a new construction in programming. It is called the if condition and it is working like that. You write just if and then in brackets, if digital read, that's a new comment, which is now called not digital write, like put something on, but digital read, so like sense something. It has one parameter and it is a button pin, so digital read, button pin, three. And this is a condition. It comes with uh, two of these equal signs. This is, uh, you can um, imagine this is like the question, is this high? Because here, there we say the button pin is three. This is something where we place this three onto this button pin. So that's a declaration. But here it is a question because this condition can be true or it can be false. Digital read button pin equal equal high is only true when the button is pushed. And if this is true, then everything in this curly brackets is, is interpreted. So if the button is pushed, then digital write LED pin one high, switch LED one on, 
else, uh, no, and uh, digital right LED to off, low. Else, this means if that is not true, then do this what is written in here. So this is optional, you can leave it away, but if you would like to have this alternative way, then you use this else and curly brackets again and everything what is in the curly brackets will be um, running if the button is not pushed. And if the button is not high, the button is low. You remember we have a digital signal which has two states, one is high, one is low. Right, so let's build it. <clears throat> Therefore we take our circuit here which we had before very beautiful isn't it okay I take a push button it's that guy and I place it here and I would like to send it on this pin digital 3 let's say purple maybe and so the one side now is in this pin which is the input and the other side should be a plus. So now I connect the other side to the 5 volt plus. It's on the bottom of the Arduino. Or not really on the bottom. You know what I mean, I hope. So and I change it to red because it's a plus and I always use red for plus. It's not my invention, of course not. And I take a resistor and now I need a resistor which has 100 kilo ohm and I can take this out here in fritzing. And now the color rings change. It is brown, black and yellow. And I can pl I will place it um, with a connection to this um, input pin and the input side of the button and the other side should go to the ground so I can place this resistor here so the one side goes to the, the button and the input pin and the other side goes to the ground okay that's it so again here you can see the plus is connected to the 5 volt from the power pins of Arduino. So I take the push button out of the fritzing starter kit, so it's this one here, and I place it in the spreadboard, and I need the 10k resistor, so here I've got one. And this is what I place here from the one pin of the of the button and the ground of my circuit. Then I need oh that's a little bit short. Then I need the plus which is here and here. That's the opposite uh, of the button and I need the wire which connects the button and the resistor to the digital input which I declared. Okay, so that's easy. Now I only need the programming code. So here's the programming code and I simply upload it by press the upload button. And if I now push this button, the LED switches from red to green. Right, so here I have a 
real program with an input and an output. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum. Thanks for watching.